Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I'm gonna play around with some long guitar. I got this long guitar here with the big old strings on it. I don't uh, usually play bass. Uh, if you're a bassist, you probably shouldn't watch this. It's gonna hurt to watch a guitarist play bass. But then who did I make this content for? Other guitarists who are curious about playing bass? Seems like a bad plan. Doesn't seem like this will get a lot of views. Anyways, here we go. Uh, I've got three bases here. I've got this Harley Benton first. I have a short scale Fender Mustang and a Dan Electro Longhorn. Um, let's see it. Let's see how it sounds. I'm going to decide at the end of this which of these bases I would buy for myself if I was shopping for bases. This is the Harley Benton. Like I said, it is 129 euros. Dirt cheap. Let's see how it plays, how it sounds. That was just with a neck pickup. Now I've turned on the bridge as well. Spanky. to me it's long it's got the heavy strings the fretwork on it is is just fine it's a little sharp the frets are high and modern and it, they're not sharp in the way we're like they're, they're done poorly they're just not they don't have that smooth polish around the edge of them it's not a rounded fret so you get a bit of tactile response there the action is a little bit high up at the 12th fret there's a little bit of a bow going on here but it's totally playable I don't feel like it's like the cheapest feeling bass I've ever played in my life. I feel like it holds up as a uh, as a player. But it definitely has that, you know, budget bass sort of thing going on. If I was to get one of these, I'd get a different finish. I don't like the uh Well, also this tort is printed. It's not real tort. So up close, it looks quite a bit cheap. Um, I don't mind the red. So maybe like, like a white pick guard on this would be fine for me. But I don't like that tort, really. But uh, like I said, 129. Let's move on to the next bass. This long guitar is a short long guitar. This is a Fender Mustang bass. This is an expensive boy at 1087 so already I can tell you it's way outside of my budget especially for a bass like when I spend that money on a guitar I spend a long time researching it and I have a good use for it I'm not a bassist so no matter how good this feels or sounds right now it's off the table for me but I wanted to play it anyway all right Mustang bass this thing's beautiful I love the look of it I love the matte finish on the seafoam green I love the, uh, the vintage looking split pickups here. Mm. I even like the, uh, the purloid, the mother, the mother of toilet seat here. It's that creamy, like vintage yellow sort of moto instead of the bright white, sharp, cut through your retinas sort of moto you see on a lot of cheaper guitars. I like that. I, I would buy a guitar with this color scheme going on, with this, like, uh, this aesthetic. The neck is matte finish as well. The frets are fine. They're not luxurious, but they're, uh, they're certainly appropriate for the price point of this guitar. Let's turn everything up. Try just the neck pickup. <laughs> kind of fell apart there on the higher frets. Like 
Like I feel like past the fifteenth fret, it starts to get a little bit of like a anemic sound to it. Let's roll the tone all the way back. It gets super deep, so people listening on their phones can't even hear what's happening. Let's try that with the bridge pickup up. Poor playing there. Roll the neck pickup off. So it's just the bridge pickup with the tone down. And then we'll bring that tone all the way back up. Here's the bridge. together. You didn't notice a big difference there when they're um, when they're both on. Try rolling one off again. Nah, it's there. It's a fun bass. I think I'm really uh, bonding with the short scale nature of it because it's pretty familiar to the length of a guitar. It's comfortable for me. But man, yeah, the price point is way out for me, but I love the look. It's comfortable. It'd probably cover the sounds that I would actually use as a limited, uh, you know, limited use basis. Someone who just busts out bass every now and then. Um, I'm sure like a full scale bass is just gonna deliver a more consistent, like classic bass sound. So I don't know, uh, basis. How do you feel about short scales? Are they okay? If you're gonna buy one bass, is a short scale an okay one bass to have? All right, next up, if I can plug it in, this Dan Electro Longhorn. I picked it off, off the wall strictly on looks alone. I've always loved the look of Longhorns. I've wanted a guitar Longhorn forever. Um, I just thought it would be fun to check out what a bass with lipsticks sounds like. And uh, it's also short scale. I think that's short scale, right? It feels short scale. Let's try it out. Everything's turned all the way up. Actually, it sounds pretty heavy. Actually, kind of plays pretty nice, too. 495. I feel like that's outside the range of like splurge, like random buying a bass. Like, oh, I think I'll try bass. Like, you're gonna buy this in a very specific set of conditions where, like, I want a funky looking bass, I want a bass, and I've got money to spend on it. I mean, it's not bad money. But it's not throwaway money either, not like 130. Let's try rolling back the bridge pickup just to have the neck. And we'll roll back the neck and just have the bridge. Am I crazy for liking this? I'm really liking this bass right now. I don't know why I keep trying to tap this week. Not bad. Let's, uh, let's do some tone rolling back. We'll turn up the neck all the way, turn down the bridge, and roll that tone all the way back. It got kind of quiet. Oh, that's the volume. There we go. I had it backwards.
that's really rich and deep. I, you know, everyone listening on a phone just completely lost that, but whatever. Uh, let's try the bridge. Here it is with the tone rolled all the way back. I'm going to say it. I think this is the bass for me. I think this is the bass that I would buy. It's got the short scale, which is comfortable for me. It's got the looks I like. It's, uh, it's more expensive than I should be spending on a bass, but it's not insane money. It's not a thousand bucks. It's 500 bucks. I think I'd like a different color than black, unless I exclusively play this while wearing a white tuxedo. That would be a good look. Someone tell me why I'm crazy for liking this bass versus the two more standard basses I played. And feel free to diss my bass playing because I know. I know it's bad. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. You know the whole situation. You know I like to uh, like play with the trolls. I like to have fun in the comments. Um, watch everyone else's videos. Watch all my videos from TGU. Watch videos from TGU last year. We have a great time at these things. Bye, everybody. Stay grounded.